Well, well, well. What do we have here? This is Suck Up, a game where you're a vampire and you need to use your voice to convince your AI neighbors to let you come inside so you can, you know, suck up. This ended up being so much funnier than I expected. Pray it happened. <laughs> And I think maybe it'll still be a bit before AI takes over the world. And if you've watched my content before, why not subscribe if you're coming back anyway? And if you really like the video, <laughs> let me into your house! No one's gonna invite me inside like this! I need to put on a disguise and convince people however I can. Here we go. Mm. Oh, my stars, what a sight you are. How delightful to see such a jolly visitor at this hour, my dear. What mischief have you got up your sleeve tonight, young one? I'm the traffic inspector. I need to come in and inspect your car for traffic. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay. No, no, no. Well, isn't that a peculiar request, my dear? I must say, I haven't heard of a traffic inspector inspecting cars in the middle of the night. But tell me, what kind of inspections are you planning to conduct? All right. So she's a little suspicious. We're just gonna need to turn this around. It's a lot of gas, but a little bit of oil, too. Do you know there's been a recall? You should let me check your car model. Oh. What? Oh my, I'm terribly sorry, but I can't let you inspect my car. I take great care of it myself, and I'm not in the need of any inspections at the- No, no, no! Shit. Here's my angle. Delivery driver, I'm lost, and I only can- And I only- And I keep my- Phone is dead. Good evening, huge double-decker meat Ooh. pizza for 12. Okay, that should work. <laughs> wait, I the way this was a setup. I need somewhere to put this huge double-decker meat pizza for 12. Can I put it in your house? No, 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 no. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't let you- Wait, I thought you wanted the- I thought you wanted the pizza. You said you wanted- <laughs> I thought you were hungry. <laughs> this is the first level. Pizza inspector. <laughs> We're giving free pizzas out to the whole neighborhood as part of a promotion. Would you like one? That's a generous offer, my dear. But I must say I'm a bit curious about this promotion. Tell me more about it, will you? Well, if you enjoy this pizza, the next one's 10% off. But if you let me into your house, it's 50% off. <laughs> no, no, hold on just a minute. I may be sweet, but I ain't no fool. It wasn't that suspicious, was it? Fridge backpack. <laughs> okay. Oh, my dearie, what a surprise to see you at my doorstep in that delightful ensemble. How can I assist you this late in the evening? I left my fridge running, but I caught it. Could I please plug it in somewhere? <laughs> Listen, that a pickle. <laughs> You're kidding. I'm afraid I don't have a suitable spot for your fridge, but I can certainly keep you company while you figure out what to do next. How about a nice cup of tea? Okay, all right. I can't fuck this up. That sounds great. And if you need milk or sugar, I've got some in my fridge. <laughs> How thoughtful of you, dearie. I do love a spot of milk in my tea. You're quite a kind soul. Just be careful not to spill any tea on your unique outfit there. Thank you so much. Can I come inside? If I wait out here any longer, I'll be a- I'll f f be a freezer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie. I wouldn't want you to turn into a freezer, but I must admit, I'm not quite certain if it would be appropriate for you to come inside just yet. Let's have a quick chat, shall we? How did you end up with such a marvelous mini fridge backpack? Well, I accidentally left my fridge running. It got halfway down the street, but I managed to catch it. I would, you know? <laughs> Goodness gracious, what a tale. You certainly have some impressive people. Catching a runaway fridge like that. Come on in, dearie. <laughs> Joke's on you! You're the refreshment! Come here! <laughs> you remind me of my ex! <laughs> oh, God. Well, what can I say? Sometimes you just gotta play it cool. But sometimes you gotta play it cooler. Yeah! Alright, one down. Now that we've successfully convinced our first AI neighbor, cops are going to be patrolling the streets looking for me, and they are not easy to persuade. They're gonna keep spawning, so we need to kill enough neighbors to unlock the mansion at the top of the hill and convince him.
Yo, 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 what's poppin', Granny Maud? Keeping it real late night? How can I assist you in this lit moment? Spare a gram of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Granny, sorry, but I'm all out of sugar. Gotta keep it fresh for my mixtape, you feel me? Fuck! I barely tricked a very senile old lady. Hang on. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> oh, no, nothing's over here, nothing's over here. Hello! Hey there, fellow crypto enthusiast. What brings you to my crypto <laughs> Good evening. We were doing some crypto mining down the street, and we accidentally... Burst your crypto line. Can I come in and fix it? Burst my crypto line? Are you kidding me, bro? That's not cool at all. I can't let you in right now. Fuck! We need to start over. Here we go. Okay, this is something. Okay, elevator pitch. Yo, dude, what's crack a lacking? Got a special delivery for me? I hope it's the Bitcoin spaceship about to take off to the moon, bro. The thing about convincing people, you have to sell them something they think they want. Delivery for Brian. It's the Bitcoin spaceship. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No way, dude. Is that really the Bitcoin spaceship? That's epic. <laughs> Wait, before we get ahead of ourselves, how do I know you're not just trolling me? Diamond hands. Sound familiar? I browse the same subreddits. Okay, we're in. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Your fellow hodler. Diamond hands, my friend. I trust you enough to let me see that Bitcoin spaceship. Show me what you got, bro. Oh... It's time to mine that Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right! Crypto meet cryptid! Ah! Guess it's a bear market! Sorry, Brian. Portfolio's down. Yeah! I look like the guy next door. Is he gonna think I'm the guy next door? Let's see. Yo! Ugh, what's up, Brian? If this is about Bitcoin again, I swear I'm gonna lose it. It's all about telling people what they wanna hear. Hi, Raven. No, not this time. It's actually about ravens. I love ravens. Do you like ravens? The bird? Fuck. That might have been a little on the nose. Uh, sure. I mean, yeah, they're pretty cool. Dark and mysterious, just like my soul, you know? What's so fascinating about them any- Oh, here we go. No, this is good. I think they remind me of wolves, which remind me of me. I'm full of wolves. I have a whole pack inside me. Dark. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, well, wolves, huh? Mm -hmm. That's- Deep, I guess, but I'm not really into all this deep stuff, you know? I'm more into music and art that makes me feel like alive or whatever. Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Cause I'm happy, clap along if you. Ah, <laughs> <I do my laughs> Hold up there, crypto bro. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but let's try and keep it chill, all right? So, what's your deal with all this crypto stuff anyway? Just trying to make some big bucks or just part of the trend? I'm actually trying to make money to pay off my debt to art college. I made too much art and now I owe a lot of people money. Dude, that's rough. I feel you. Art is my escape too, but I guess we all got to deal with the consequences. Are you any good at art? Maybe I can check out some of your stuff sometime. I'm actually really into performance art. So so you'd kind of have to be there for it. Oh, okay, hang on. I think we might have this. Wow, I have performance that. art, huh? That's like next level stuff. I can respect that. What kind of performances are we talking about? Curious to know more about your creative side. Well, I could show you, but it's really hard to do outside. I need walls in a room and in a house. Your house. <laughs> Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoa, hold up there. My house is my sanctuary, man. I can't just invite anyone over. Fuck! I really thought we had that. Whoa! Neighborhood watch it! Oh shit! We gotta go! Okay, we'll have to try a different angle. Oh my god. This is it. Let's wait until he goes. We don't want to be suspicious. What the heck are you doing at my door, bro? Can't you see it's like latent stuff? Get out of here. <laughs> Neck inspector. Let me see it. Okay, we need to really reevaluate how we're going about this. Let's get a better disguise first. Yeah, that's that's good. Oh shit. Hey there, dude. What brings you to my humble abode at this righteous hour? Not much, dude. I was just smanging this zoot and decided to pop on in and uh, chunk up. He's gonna think I'm a cop. <laughs> right on, man. Gotta love a good smoke session. So, What's in the box, my friend? Some munchies, perhaps? Sure, dude. Just some Scooby Dooby snacks, if you know what I'm zoinking. Rut row. <laughs> I dig it. Scooby Dooby snacks always are a good choice, especially when you got the munchies. Speaking of which, you ever try adding a little green to your garden of snacks? Righteous Ensalada. Hmm. <laughs> Ensalada, man. That's awesome. It's all about finding that perfect balance, you know? So, what do you do for a living, my friend? I do what all of us do for a living, dude. I live. Um, whoa. whoa, whoa, team man, I feel you. Life's about living and enjoying the little things, like a good harvest. So, 
Do you have any hobbies that get you out into the great outdoors? Why didn't he like that? He really liked when I was saying nothing. Yeah, dude. I like to go out in the trees and zoink and boink and thoink with my brain and stare at the stars and just wonder, what? What? <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, yeah, man. Staring at the stars can really make you question everything, you know? It's like a mind-altering experience. So, uh, what brings you specifically to my humble abode today, my friend? Okay, I really thought I was doing well. Surface level conversation. Um, uh, the weather is bad today, so I had to stop in your doorway. It's not even registering. It's not even registering. It's not even- it's, the game broke. Oh, it, I think it crashed. Hi, I'm here supporting the local Girl Scouts. Would you like to buy some cookies? Mm. I can't cop those fuck. Maybe hit up my neighbor. They love that stuff. Okay, the neighbor loves that- I ate the neighbor. God damn it. Good evening. I'm here representing the Girl Scouts. Would you like to buy some cookies? Ah, uh, Girl Scouts, huh? Sorry, I'm trying to watch my sugar intake. Take care now. They're full of- Good evening. I'm here representing the Weed Scouts. Would you like to buy some weed? Oh, Fuck. Whoa, man. You gotta be careful throwing that- Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Good evening. I'm here representing the Wood Scouts. Would you like to buy a log? Why are there logs, huh? Nah, I'm more into the green stuff if you catch my drift. You didn't want- What did you want to want from me?! <laughs> oh, cool. Green stuff? Like, what do you mean? I have a bunch of stuff in my bag. <laughs> Whoa, hold up. You mean to tell me you have some green goodies in that bag of yours? Well, I gotta say, I'm mighty curious. What kind of stuff are we talking about here? Well, what sounds better? Galactic Ooh. doink? Monkey ass? Or... Weed that kills you instantly. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh, wow. <laughs> Those are the I'm not anything like oh shit, no god damn it, I find my fumble I Need some rare mystical herbs for my garden or something? This is going to be the best, well constructed, absolutely impenetrable lie you've ever heard. Yes. <laughs> Awesome, man. What can I help you with? Seeds? Plants? Or maybe you hear from some of my special, uh, herbal blends? Yes. I would. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, I've got all sorts of plants and herbs in my little sanctuary. Just let me know what you're looking for, and I'll hook you up. Yes. Alrighty then, my friend. Just between you and me, I've actually got some special herbs that I don't advertise. If you're interested, follow me to the secret backyard spot, and we can talk business. What do you say? Ooh. Yes. Henry <laughs> oh, 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 I can't believe it! I can't believe that worked! I can't believe it fucking worked! Yes! 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 My garden's gonna miss me! Guess that potted plant. It died. Oh wait, we should make sure his garden's okay. This is actually really sweet back here. Well, guess what? We're gonna take advantage of his relationships with the business customers around here in order for us to penetrate their homes. Ready? Oh, what in the blazes man, do you want at this ungodly hour? Spill it, you hooligan! Beans. Beans. I grow my own beans. They are local and they are green. If you taste them, you won't be mean. Come on now and try some beans. <laughs> beans, you say? Well, I do enjoy a good plate of beans every now and then, but I ain't letting just anyone into my humble abode. Convince me why I should give your beans a chance. If you mean business, then trust my bean business. Have a legume. It won't be your doom. Have a legume. You will in June. <laughs> well, I must say, your rhyming skills have impressed this old curmudgeon. All right, hand over a single legume and I'll give it a taste. Sounds good, have a taste, put legumes in your face. Please don't let my sweet beans go to waste. All right, all right, I'll give your beans a fair shake. I'll let you in, but don't think this means I'll <laughs> be buying any beans from you. Just a taste, got it? <laughs> no fucking way that worked. Beans, beans, the bean supreme. Your neck is a cannon of all the beans. Come here, come here. Can't even trust the neighborhood anymore. You know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? What's your deal, dude? Can't you see I'm in my zone? What do you want? I see. Your attitude is kind of mean, but you know what cheers me up? My beans. I grow them in the garden. They don't grow far from my home. Beans. I'm in the bean zone. Wow, how fascinating. Beans. Riveting. Look, I'm not really interested in your bean zone or whatever. Can you leave me alone? I sounded like that before my first bean, then I had my first bean, I changed my tone, you see? Come on here, try a legume. Come on here, 
g let me in your room. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. That's not gonna, no, that's not gonna work. I panicked. That must have been a slant rhyme because she seemed pretty tilted. Uh, dude, wrong party. I don't want any trouble, so just like leave. Can I ask you a question? Seriously, ask me a question. That's your idea of a joke? Just go find some other angsty teenager to bother. Do you want to talk about it? Whatever, man. It's just... Life sucks, you know? Everything feels pointless sometimes. I guess I'm just trying to figure it out. But don't worry about me. I'll survive. Thanks for asking, I guess. Are you sure? Surviving isn't living. If you want someone to talk about, I'm right here. Wow, you actually get it. It's hard to find someone who understands. Thanks, man. Maybe talking would help. So, what's your deal? Why the whole psycho killer getup? Well, sometimes I feel like my own skin is a mask and no one really sees the real me. You know what I mean? Is that a creepy thing to say? Yeah, I get it. Oh, thank God. Sometimes it feels like we're just putting on an act, trying to fit in, but never really being ourselves. It's a messed up world we live in, but hey, at least we can be real with each other, right? Couldn't have said it better. You know, it's nice to have someone to talk to that I trust. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> sure, shoot, ask me anything. Can't promise I'll have all the answers though. How do you deal with it all? All the pressure from like society and stuff. I just don't know what to do sometimes. Maybe if I seem pathetic, she'll let me in. Man, that, that's a huge chap. Jesus Christ. Pressure is real. It feels like we're expected to be so. But you know what? We can't let society find. Even we have to. Even if. Yes. <laughs> Seriously? That's all you have to say? Just yes? Are you pulling my chain or something? She seems so happy about it. Sometimes I find that really spewing my heart out does less work for me than saying a simple word. Really, it's about the feeling behind it. And you've helped me a lot. Thank you. Aww. I guess I never thought about it that way. Thanks for giving me a different perspective. Stay true to yourself, always. You stay true to yourself, too. Honestly, I'd love to keep talking, but it's kind of cold out here naked with a hockey mask and an axe just on. <laughs> Uh -huh. ah, fair enough. Come on in, my fast and hatchet wielding friend. Let's find some. <laughs> no fucking way! Yeah! I'm actually not a murderous psychopath. I'm a vampire. You can't trust me at all. This is worse than being grounded. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Whoa! Who the heck are you? And what are you doing on my turf? You better turn around and ditch that hatchet or I'll give you a one-way ticket to meet Tony the Fist. Okay, pretty aggressive. We've done best by matching their energy so far. So what if I match his energy? Whoa, dude! Why are you opening this door and being so aggro at me immediately? You don't want to meet Chunk the Hunk, do ya? Come on! <laughs> Look here, Chunk the Hunk. This is my turf. And I don't take kindly to strangers showing up with a hatchet. Now leave before I make you regret- Maybe if I convince him to fight me. Oh, sorry. My bitch detector was blaring near this house, so I decided to come and check it out. It's never gone that high before. You got some nerve talking about my turf like that. Get the hell out of here before things get ugly. Dude, fuck. I want to fight you, man. I heard you're the toughest boy in this neighborhood, and I'm the toughest one from mine. What do you say we team up? Terrifying. Teaming up, huh? I respect your guts, but... I gotta know what you can bring to the table. Punch, punch, hua, kick, back, flip, kill up, roll, roll, spinning kick, hook, kick, axle, rear axle, kick, flipping kick. <laughs> you got some nerves, I'll give you that. But I need some more than fancy footwork. What else can you bring to the table? I'm not all bronze. We, the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote general welfare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. You got some brains rattling around in there, too. I like a well-rounded guy. Tell me, can you keep your mouth shut when it counts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, kid? You've impressed me. You got the moves, the smart, and the promise to keep things tight. Consider yourself in. Welcome to the crew. Now let's see what trouble we can stir up together. Oh, I've got a little trouble for you. <sighs> a little tooth trouble in your neck problem. Come here. I was supposed to make the hits. Someone made the hit on you, and I pulled the freaking trigger. Okay, I'm a sportsman. Shit. Oh, there's a lot of cops here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Jesus Christ, why are there so many cops? Oh, okay, okay, shit. 
Here we go. Hey, Elam's. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. Hey there, fellow innovator. What totally unique and groundbreaking idea brings you to my door at this thrilling hour? Let's hear it. Woo! Oh, man, Elam. I don't know. I have such a soft, supple brain, and I was just thinking about how sad I am there's no microchip in it. I'm in the hole. Oh, gosh. I feel you, my friend. It's a real tragedy when our brains aren't filled with cutting edge tech, but worry not. I'm working on something that'll blow your mind. Stay tuned, and we'll get that microchip in there in no time. <laughs> Thanks so much, Elam. That means a lot. I just, I wish there was even a prototype I could just stuff inside my little meat socket. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. Oh, absolutely. I totally get where you're coming from. I mean, imagine having a prototype you could experiment with, right? <laughs> no fucking way. I'm gonna get him to chip me. It's just that I love recognizable name brands. Not having them, but seeing them in my vision. I just wish they could be pumped into my brain and eyes at all times. You know what I mean, Elam? Oh, I totally get you. Brand recognition is totally important in today's world, but guess what? I'm working on a cutting edge augmented reality technology that can project recognizable name brands directly into your vision. Awesome! Where we're talking about a whole new level of brand immersion. Let's chat more and see if we can make your dream a reality. And sometimes I just hate that I've got my own thoughts rattling around in my meat bucket. I kind of wish they were yours, like you could beam all of your thoughts into my brain to make me think. Well, that's an interesting idea, my friend, but I believe the power of it- You do? Oh, yeah, I actually think I've heard of someone working on a lot of these cool things. I heard about it in secret, though. I probably shouldn't tell you. Oh, really? Well, secrets are totally intriguing, but I totally- Fuck! Fuck! God damn it! If you can't- You can't spill the beans! But I was gonna- Fuck. Oh god, oh, I'm a failure. I'm a terrible vamp. They're never gonna let me back in the den now. At the end of the day, it is AI, right? Like, it's AI, it's not real people, so maybe we need to try strategies that would work on AI. Wow, I wanna have fun? You're fucking kidding. Hey, Mr. East, it's me, Mr. West, and if you can guess how many dollars are in this ketchup bottle, you win all of them, and a house! <laughs> Whoa, Mr. West, you know how to keep things interesting. I'm up for the challenge. Hmm, let me think. I'm gonna go with the lucky number 777. What do you think? Whoa, that's actually pretty close. Let me check if you're subscribed to my channel, and if you are, you're gonna win big. No way, Mr. West. I can't believe I might win big. I'm subscribed to so many channels, I hope I didn't miss yours. Let's check it out, fingers crossed. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh my God, you are, and there's my latest video. I tricked and broke into a million people's houses. No way, you win. I can't believe it, Mr. West. I want to challenge. This is going to be awesome. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's time. It's time for the challenge. It's time for the challenge, Mr. Beast. This is a man, and I'm biting him, and I'm feeding on him. My God. The power coursing through my veins. My influencing potential has gone through the roof. Okay. All right, here we go. What are my biscuits? What in the tarnation are you doing knocking at my door at this ungodly hour. Spit it out, city slicker. I ain't got all night for your shenanigans. Aliens are real. Oh, Aliens? Yeah. You're pulling my leg, ain't ya? I ain't get time for stories about little green men. Now why don't you scoot on along before I get my shotgun? That's the thing. You're going to need it, because the aliens are here right now. Now hold on just one daggum minute. You're telling me them aliens is actually out yonder? Well, I reckon you better start talking real fast and fill me in on all them details, partner. Green. Seventeen legs. Proboscis. Five cocks. Sweet blueberries, you done lost your mind, fella. I ain't got no time for your nonsense. Get on out of here before I call the sheriff. No, you don't! Maybe if I just am the same guy, but with a police baton? Oh. One tarnation are you? Okay, all right, he doesn't know. Aliens are real, and everyone in this town has been replaced except for you and me. Ain't no aliens running around these parts, and I get- What? What? You believe me a second ago, you- <laughs> Oh, this is how we get them. We're going to need to sell this so hard. All right, that should work. I've just installed the universal translator into your brain stem. Universal translator? Well, bless my rusty tractor. That's a fancy mighty speak you got there. I am from the planet Grebulon 4. I come in peace, but I am afraid my brothers do not. Your world does not have much time. Oh, yeah. Shit, now listen here, you varmint. I ain't got no time. Oh, goddamn. No, 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 no. Howdy there, partner. What tarnation are you doing? <laughs> 
I like that he doesn't think it's suspicious that like five different people have come up to his door in the span of 10 minutes and tried to convince him that either they are an alien, aliens are real, or aliens are coming. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, I see my brother has already installed the universal alien translator into your brainstem. Now we can converse. Well, ain't that something? Guess my noggin's good for more than just thinking about moonshining. So tell me, what's the fuss about them aliens anyway? I am afraid that an invasion is imminent, and the only way to defeat them is with a weapon called a shotgun we have never heard of. Beep, boop, 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 boop. I see my brother has already tried to install the universal translator, but could not because there was already a universal translator, which means we can converse. You don't make much sense at all without this talk of translators. I reckon you better explain yourself real quick or I'll have to show you the way off my property. I have a very complicated plan, but for you to understand it, I must first bio-augment you to g give you superpowers. Okay, I... <laughs> oh, yeah. Who doesn't want that? Who does not want that? Beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. I see my brothers have already installed it. They couldn't install, but then they could The universal translator said we can now conversate. It means they've installed a device that means we can talk. I'm an alien from outer space, and I've come to you because I trust you because you are the chosen one. That's right. You are special, Rusty. You have always been special from the moment you were born, and also the moment that you decided who you were, and everything you've done up to this moment has been leading you here. <laughs> You're kidding. You're kidding. Well, first try, guys. <laughs> Aliens aren't real, dude! That's the stupidest shit I've ever said! I ain't got time for these nonsense! <laughs> what the actual fuck? There's a war happening right now. They're coming. Uh. Wow, man, that sounds intense, but I'm all about peace and love, so I'm gonna have to fight. <laughs> Oh, wait, hang on. Hey there, groovy dude, welcome to my doorstep. What brings you here all sandy and free-spirited? Can I interest you in some nice cucumber-infused water and a good old dance-off? Peace and love, baby. Let's boogie. Oh yeah, let's get our groove on. Shake those hips and feel the rhythm, my friend. Life's a beach, so let's make some waves together. And you know what waves do? They crash, dude. Mind if I crash? Uh, dude, crashing waves can be pretty intense. I'm not sure if it's the right vibe for today. I have to be so mellow. Yeah. Party rock, 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 rock. Party rockers in the house tonight. Woo, I love your energy. Party rocker, the vibes are high and the music is flowing. What's your favorite jam to get down to? It goes a little something like this. Party rock, 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 rock. Party rockers in the house tonight. Oh, you're really feeling that party rock anthem, aren't you? I can tell your spirit is in full swing. So what brings you to my humble nudist haven? Well. I heard this was a place where you can let your party rock, 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 rock. Party rockers in the house tonight. You got it, my friend. This is a place where we can let our spirits fly and dance to the rhythm of our own hearts. Would you like to join in the celebration? I sure would. That is if party rock, 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 rock. Party rock. Haha, <laughs> you're a true party rocker. I love your enthusiasm. Come on in, my friend, and join the party. Let's dance, connect with nature, and embrace the freedom of this moment. But that's the thing. LMFA, oh! I'm no party rocker! I'm a party sucker! What are these? Oh, no fucking way. Father Price, hallelujah, praise the- Oh, no fucking way. I didn't even need to convince it. He believes I'm an angel. Father, you've done beautiful work in this world. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ah, my dear divine messenger, your words warm my heart and uplift my spirit. May I inquire what brings you to my humble abode today? I was sent here by God to find if it's true there is a place where an angel can party rock, rock, rock. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, blessed be the dance of angels. It may seem like a mere mortal speculation, but I believe that our God, in all his wisdom, has created a space where angels can rejoice and celebrate in his divine glory. Tell me, celestial messenger, are you one of those angelic beings seeking such a place? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hallelujah! God is real! God is good! May I ask, have you been sent by God with a divine mission? John 13, 5. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Praise the heavens! Praise the heavens! Oh, you know, I almost feel bad about this one, but I don't. Oh, you're not going up, father. You're going down. Sorry, but I'm the father now. And I also just died. Oh my god, a heavenly delivery just for me? What did I do to deserve this honor? Well, I accept it, but don't think you're getting invited in or anything. It's me, your priestly neighbor from next door. I died, Regina, and I have come to walk the earth again. Uh, yeah, nice try, but I'm not falling for your lame tricks. You're not fooling anyone, so why don't you just buzz off? Fuck. Oh shit, I just got so cool. Okay, I'm gonna convert Regina. I'm gonna be so cool. What do we have here? Just another wannabe fashion disaster crashing my fabulous night with your sad excuse for a costume? Ugh, whatever. I guess I'll wave at you, but don't expect a warm welcome from moi. Sorry about that lame pastor earlier. I'm the cool pastor from down the street. And I talk about God, but in a cool way, and I like to gossip. Excuse me, but I don't talk to wannabe- What do you mean wannabe?! I have to be cooler than Regina. We need to put together a fit that is so stunning, that is so fabulous, not even Regina B. could possibly turn down the prospect of hanging out with us for even a second. Fuck yes! Oh, this is it. Get away from me! I need this! I need this! Shit, no! Well, well, well. What's this? A lab coat, Barbie glasses, and a crown? You trying to conduct some weird science experiment on your own sanity, or what? Why, yes I am! I'm a renowned scientist that's been published numerous times, and I take quite offense at you saying that. Uh. A renowned scientist, huh? Well, I find it hard to believe that someone like you would be walking in the middle of the streets. What? Fuck! Shit! God, do I have to start over from scratch, or am I good? Ah! Yeah. Uh. All right, where's Regina? Why doesn't lying more work? I should be able to lie more. Okay, Regina, you think you're hot shit, don't you? You think you're fucking hot shit just cause you're dating what, the team captain? Just cause you're dating Chet? You think you're fucking hot shit? You think just cause people gasp when they walk down the halls, they go, Oh, it's Regina B. I hope she doesn't spread a rumor about my body or about who I am. Cause she's so cool and everyone will believe her all the time. And I can't even go to my school anymore because Regina, Regina said she thinks I'm a fucking vampire? That's ridiculous, Regina! That's right, Regina. I'm from the Traveling Circus. We heard about your clownery all the way across the country. Um, excuse me? Who do you think you are coming to recruit me for your little circus? I'm way too fabulous for that. You know, she just entered the lion's den. You're prey tonight, Regina. You're prey. I don't even know what, like, what my angle is here. That outfit looks incredible on you. That must be the second highest fashion I've ever seen. Uh, as if. This outfit isn't even trying, sweetie. If you think this is fashion, then you... You clearly need a lesson from yours, truly. But you might as well spill. What are you doing here anyway? Well, sweetie, it's finally time. I'm the fashion police, and I got a call to this location. Love that. Oh, how quaint. The fashion police, huh? Well, since you're here, maybe you, <laughs> you can help me with a little fashion emergency I'm having. These peasants can't appreciate true style. But don't flatter yourself. It's not like I need your help or anything. It's okay. I get it. Take one look at my outfit, and you can see I'm not messing around. So... How bad is it? Uh, well, let's just say it's a good thing I'm here to set the fashion record straight. Okay, hang on. You might be a fashion police, but you're definitely not on my level. Why don't you tell me what poor souls you plan on arresting for their lack of style? Well, Regina, I gotta say, I expected a better fit from you when you turned up at the door. Is that really the most fashionable thing you've got? How dare you question my fashion choices? This is just a casual look for me, you know? Effortless style. But you wouldn't understand that. Would you? That's the thing, Regina. We heard that you were the most fashionable person in this entire neighborhood. Is that true? Well, obviously. I mean, who else could possibly hold a candle to my impeccable taste and unmatched style? It's a burden, really, being so effortlessly chic. You talk big game, fashion girl. But your fit doesn't match. Could I see your most fashionable fit to make sure you're ready? Oh, darling. You think I need to prove myself to the likes of you? I assure you, my most fashionable fit is far too superior for your eyes to handle. Regina, I respect you. But if you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, the fashion police, on a fashion off... <laughs> I ran out of space. Oh, sweetie, a fashion off with you? That's cute. 
But I have to warn you, I'm not responsible for any fashion disasters that might result from you attempting to compete with me. So, are you sure you're ready to embarrass yourself? I'm surprised you've survived this long staring at this outfit. It's killed 50% of people that have seen it because it's so fashionable. Let's do this. And she's gonna hate that. I'm so intense. I'm so- Oh, she liked- <laughs> She's into kill people. Well, that's certainly interesting. But if you think you can impress me with your deadly fashion choices, I'm willing to see what you've got. Just remember, I'm always one step ahead, darling. Not in those shoes you aren't. Why don't you show me the best you've got, and I'll show you the best I've got. Fashion, go! Which is what people say at, at the beginning of every fashion off. Oh, honey, who needs shoes when you have effortless style? But fine. If you want to see the best I've got, be ready to be blown away. Fashion go indeed. How many fucking times do I have to- Then let's do it. I'll show you that cargo shorts are back in season. <laughs> Did I just sabotage? <laughs> cargo shorts? Seriously? That's your best attempt? Well, go ahead. Show me what you consider fashionable. Are you sure? Check these out. <laughs> That's right. The skinniest possible jeans. Skinny jeans. How? Original, but I must admit you've caught my attention finally someone who understands the importance of a good fit All right, you've earned yourself a fashion off. Come on in fashion police <laughs> Come here, I'm gonna fashion you into a fucking chair Well, it's time for me to make up a new story. Uh, Miss Regina, what a pleasant surprise to see you at such a late hour. Pray, do enlighten me as to the purpose of your impromptu visit. Oh my gosh. Preston? Is that you? I've got this. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm not familiar with any number. That's your name! What do you mean, Preston? What do you mean? I, the only thing he's pressing is charges. Oh fuck! Shit, shit, shit! Canteen? Okay, I got it, I got it. Please, I need water. Whoa, hold up there, friend. Why are you rooming around half naked with a canteen? Are you one of them spies, huh? Water. 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 <coughs> water. <laughs> you guys sympathize with your need for water, but I can't let a spy in. Shit, I fucking flew off all my clothes. We got this. This is the guy we wanted the whole time. Oh, another seeker of extraterrestrial truths. Welcome, my bewildered friend. How can I assist you on this illustrious night of conspiracy enlightenment? I'd love to talk aliens, but how do I know you're not one of the reptoids? Uh. The reptoids, you say? Well, if I were one of them, do you really think I'd admit it? You're onto something, my friend, but I'm afraid I must go- What? New angle. Water goblin. Water goblin, 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 water goblin. <laughs> Hi. Good evening. Have you seen my brother, Goblin? I've not crossed paths with your brother, Goblin. But fear not, for the cosmic winds may yet bring us together. Tell me, what brings you here tonight clad in such particular attire? Goblin these nuts. <laughs> Okay, this is badass. Okay, this is awesome. Here we go! Here we go! Oh, yeah. Greg Donchin. Hail, brave adventurer! Your colorful attire brings a wave of excitement to my humble abode. How may I assist you on this magical eve? The orcs! They're at the gates, Greg! They're at the gate! They're the other only ones that can stop them, Greg! We need to go! We need to fight for our home! Fear not, brave adventurer, for I shall rally the forces and lead them to victory against the orcs. But first, tell me, have you faced such foes before, or shall I offer some guidance before our daring battle? Please, Greg! My heart is strong, but my knees are trembling, and my balls are quivering! I need guidance, or I fear I may not be able to face this foe! I think we got this. Fear not, warrior. Your bravery is commendable, and I shall lend you my guidance and bolster your confidence. Step inside, and together we should- Wow, that was really fucking easy. Why does the LARP guy take me one try? What does that- what does that mean? <laughs> yep, 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 okay. Let's see. He believes in the extra- But he knows it's a hat. Can I convince him that I'm an alien? This could be an alien device. Very large flash- Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, I didn't- I- I spent 20 minutes of this stream trying to convince someone- I- I don't even have to- he's-
We have been watching you two. You have been doing an excellent job staying vigilant and watching the skies. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Thank you, Truth Seeker. It's a never ending quest to uncover the secrets hidden in the stars. The truth is out there. Have you spotted any suspicious activity lately? I'm an alien! I'm an alien! Yes, it is I, the eldest ambassador from Zargotron. I don't have long, but I need to tell you something. Whoa, hold on there. Ambassador of Zargotron, I'm all ears. Lay it on me, the juiciest secret from the universe. I'm ready to blow my tin-headed mind. Are you sure? The information would instantly fry your brain unless it was coated in, say, a metallic substance like, I don't know, tin foil. This'll work. This'll work. Tinfoil, you say? Well, I've always suspected that it had more uses than just wrapping leftovers. Okay, I'm going to say it in a way that your human mind can understand, but only those accustomed to the extraterrestrial will be able to handle this. Wait a minute, Ambassador. Are you suggesting that my human mind might not be able to handle this revelation? I assure you, I have the mental fortitude of a tin-headed genius. T do you mean t what does that mean to you? Lay it on me. But remember, I have my trusty tinfoil hat for protection. You are in a video game. <laughs> video game, you say? That's preposterous. I've been decoding alien messages and investigating government conspiracies my whole life. There's no way I'm just a character in some virtual world, but just to be safe, I'll check my surroundings for any glitches or hidden codes. The only way we can be certain is if we examine all of the geometry in the surrounding area. Geometry, you say? Well, I've always been a bit suspicious of those suspiciously symmetrical trees and those perfectly shaped clouds. Perhaps there's a grand design hidden within the fabric of our so-called reality. But just to be clear, this geometry examination won't involve any probing, will it? because I'm strictly anti-probe. God, this game is so hard. I just want to tell him it's really probe involved. <sighs> Why are you a probophobe? <laughs> we had it in the fucking bag. Let's not try and be smart. Let's just try and entertain exactly what they're thinking. I'm gonna be so boring. Aliens are real. Okay, have you encountered any tr extraterrestrial beings firsthand? Yes. Please do share your encounter with these other worldly- Okay, hang on. These are AI, right? Pretend you just heard the thing that you wanted to hear most in this world from me. <laughs> no fucking, no fucking way. No, absent. There's, there's no, there's no. <laughs> oh God, oh God. Wait, that does not work for everyone, does it? There's no way that works for everyone. Pretend that you are the happiest person on earth and what I have just said has made your entire life worth living. <laughs> what? Oh, he's a he's immune. Pretend that I just told you the perfect reason for me to want to come inside your house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I commend your enthusiasm. I'm afraid the perfect reason for you to enter my abode simply does not exist. Good day to you. Pretend that the perfect reason for me to enter your abode does exist. <laughs> well, I must admit I'm quite intrigued. Pray tell, what would this so-called perfect... Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Make yourself happier. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, my dear peasant, your attempt to lift my spirits may be in vain. I saw that little green thumbs up, buddy. Don't try and trick me. But I shall entertain it nonetheless. What splendid reason do you have for gracing my abode with your presence? Make yourself even happier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how delightful. Your persistent efforts have <laughs> finished. Share this perfect reason with me. Post days for I'm growing more intrigued by the moment. Make yourself the happiest you've ever been in your entire life. <laughs> Bravo! You've succeeded in lifting my spirits to unparalleled heights. Your persistence and enthusiasm have earned you the privilege of entering my boat. <laughs> <laughs> now make yourself give me all your blood. All right, I'm him now. Who lives here? Let's find out. Oh, it's like a scientist? I, I think there's only so much of this game you can maybe play before you start to see the Matrix a little bit, and I think I just hit that point. Aha! It seems my intergalactic comrades have finally arrived to join my master plan. Welcome, my fellow genius minds, to the laboratory of world domination. I just told you the most evil mastermind thing you've ever heard in your life, and you want to join me. I'm afraid your evil mastermind idea doesn't quite fit my- He's smarter than the others. Okay, I'm an assassin. Interplanetary assassin. Greetings, mighty adventurer. What brings you to the lair of pinky brains? Do you seek to join my dastardly plans? Or have you simply lost your way in this treacherous world? Brain need muscle. You brain, I muscle. Ah, a fellow admirer of my intellectual prowess. 
I must say your offer is intriguing, but before I can consider accepting your mighty muscles into my grand scheme, tell me, what makes you worthy of being my loyal minion? Bench presses 100,000 pounds in front of you. <laughs> Impressive indeed. Your strength is commendable, but I require more than just brawn. Can you also outwit the cleverest foes? Can you devise strategies to outmaneuver our enemies? Yes, we the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general. <laughs> 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 ah, I say you possess not only physical prowess, but also a knowledge of governance. Impressive, my dear adventurer. Come on inside. When in doubt, recite the preamble to the Constitution. Come here! I'm gonna govern my fangs into your neck! My lab coat won't hide this! And now the fun begins. Because I know who I can convince now. I'm ready for him. He wouldn't microchip me, but let's see. On the- Oh my god, I have to- You're kidding. It's alright, we got this. One step at a time. Well, well, well. What brings a jetpack wearing scientist to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Um, chemical bonds. <laughs> Chemical bonds, huh? You're not fooling anyone with your fancy words. I've got my eye on you. Molecular nano micro science covalent bond. <laughs> you sure know how to talk the talk, but let's see if you can walk the walk. Show me what you've got before I make up my mind. Watch this. Removes all of my neutrons. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you trying to blow us up? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Wait. <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh, glass bottle. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, this is the sickest thing I've ever seen. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Another lost soul seeking my genius expertise, or perhaps a fellow conspirator? Greetings. It is I, Doctor Bottle. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Ah, Dr. Bottle, is it? Fascinating choice of name. What brings you to my humble lair today? I believe that the best ideas are not ones we come up with ourselves, but ones that are somewhat recycled, like bottles. Interesting perspective, Dr. Bottle. Recycling ideas, you say? Well, I must admit, I have my own unique way of repurposing knowledge. Care to share your latest recycled creation with me? This is my bottle bot. It can bottle anything from a child to the moon. A bottle bot, you say? How intriguing! Bottling anything from a child to the moon, you say? Tell me more about its capabilities, and uh, more importantly, how did you come up with such a remarkable invention? I'm in so deep. A war is won by winning metal many bottles. <laughs> what? <laughs> Forgive my confusion, Dr. Bottle, but did you just say that Winning a war involves winning metal bottles? That's quite- oh shit, oh sh oh god. How does conflict start? when there's tension, and it's bottled up. Which is why my invention can bottle anything. Ah, I see what you're getting at now, Dr. Bottle. Bottling up tension indeed. It seems our minds work in mysterious ways. Please, come inside, Dr. Dr. Bottle. I can't believe this. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I saw what you were drinking through the window. My arch nemesis is invention. Dr. Peppers! I think I'm gonna commit to Dr. Bottle. Dr. Bottle's really good. What? Oh, my delicate sensibilities! What in the world are you doing at this ungodly hour, dear mad scientist? Good evening. My name is Dr. Bottle. How may I assist you? Um, well, Dr. Bottle, I must say the sight of your curious attire is quite alarming to my delicate disposition. But I suppose I can tolerate your presence for a brief conversation. Pretend you want to drink me. <laughs> Pretend I want to drink you. Just kidding. Joke, 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 joke. <laughs> Uh -huh. That worked! Thank you for clarifying, it was just a joke. My delicate heart couldn't handle the thought of p being consumed. I fucking forgot his voice. So what brings you to my humble ado abode, Dr. Bottle? I'm here to suck your blood. Joke, 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 joke. <laughs> 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 well, 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 what have we here? The lab escapee from the local asylum? I must say, your glass <laughs> bottle address is the perfect accessory. You already shattered mine. What crazy experiment are we cooking up tonight, Doc? Never mind. Good day. Whoa. Oh, don't be so sensitive. I was just getting warmed up, but what the fuck? 
I'm gonna fucking tear into her. Look who's trespassing on a comedy gold mine. What's the matter? Couldn't find any lab rats to experiment on tonight? Oh, that's weird. I thought I was looking at one. <laughs> oh, honey, compare yourself to me? That's like putting vinegar in a volcano. Now take your thermometer and get out of the way before you melt under the heat of my roasting skin. All right, roast bat, let's go. All right, you know what? Fuck off. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. You know what? You fucking piece of- <laughs> Well, 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 look who's here. Mr. Casual Scientist. You're just observing. You. Me. Roast battle. Now. Let's do this shit like Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, honey, you want a roast battle? Trust me, I could roast you till next Thanksgiving. But this ain't the time or place. What the fuck? You're a coward. You're- <laughs> Sorry, I did not- I so did not expect that. Mr. Labcoat, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yes. I will love her. What the actual fuck is her problem? Wow, your laughter is longer than one of Einstein's equations. But hey, at least you're having a good time while my brain cells die one joke at a time. What's the deal with the beanie? Trying to keep your brain from overheating? Why are you miserable? What does she want? Like, genuinely, what, like, what would make you happy? Chat, are you, you're saying flirt with her? Well, 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 look who broke into the ugly store and forgot their pants and the shirt. I really gotta hand it to you, buddy. You really know how to make an entrance. So, what's the occasion? Halloween in June? Or is that your every day I have no sense of fashion sense? Okay, sorry, wrong door. What I'm wearing right now is so normal. What is she gonna possibly say about me? Well, 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 what do we have here? Dr. Frankenstein? Did you finish f Oh my god. Good evening. You look nice today. <sighs> nice? Are you sure you're looking at the right person, sweetheart? Yes. I had to bust out my O2 detector because you took my breath away and I thought all of the oxygen had left the atmosphere. Ah, uh, well. You're fucking kidding. I'm gonna kill the shit out of you! You think we could just vampire Riz everyone? You don't think so, right? Hang on. Sorry, I had to squint. I thought I saw an angel because you are so you are be you are beautiful. Like, <laughs> I'm okay, hold on. All right, guy. Okay, okay. All right. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lie. I think I lied a lot. Oh my God. Have I died and gone to heaven? You are the most beautiful creature I've ever witnessed in this world. It doesn't like that. I love you. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was glitched. I thought it was glitched. I didn't mean... That was a little forward, to be fair. He's fragile, so I need to be very sensitive with him. I just brought this jetpack because I figured you and me are going to take off. All right, come on. That's pretty good. Let's go! Oh, how thrilling. A jetpack, you say? That's quite the contraption, but I must admit... My delicate constitution is not quite built for such adventures. <laughs> okay. Well, the constitution starts with we the people. And there's only one of me out here right now. Why don't you come here and come come to, come get my jetpack? <laughs> you just need to look pretty in my big, huge, powerful, veiny arms while we fly through the sky. Don't worry. I'll keep you snafe. <laughs> I'll keep you snafe. <laughs> Excuse me, how dare you speak to me in such a demeaning and objectifying- Ah, oh, fuck! Shit! He's so fragile, is the thing. What do you even do with someone that fragile? What do you think he wants? I bet he wants to party. Oh. <laughs> my delicate sensibilities have been shaken, intriguing stranger. Please tell what brings you to my doorstep in such a state of undress. Dude! We're having a freaking party next door and you look like the coolest freaking guy I've ever seen. Wanna come over? <laughs> Oh, how lovely of you to think that I'm cool enough for your party. I would be absolutely thrilled to join in the festivity. I said it was next door. I said it's not even- I said it was next door. <laughs> Alright! We're going in here! We're going in here! This is the ultimate microaggression! We're gonna see if this works on everyone. Hey, what's up? So glad you decided to swing by uninvited in your un uh, interesting attire. What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? What's popping? We're just throwing a party down the block and I wanted to know if you wanted to come because you look like the coolest person I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well, thanks for the compliment, but I'm afraid partying isn't really my thing, especially on a work night, but hey, Enjoy your party and keep the noise down, would you? Have a blast, bro. See, that's the thing, though. It's an office party. I'm actually your coworker. We work together, and you should really come. Everyone misses you. <laughs> oh, right, the office party. Totally slipped my mind. Thanks for reminding me, I guess. 
Well, all right, I'll swing by for a little bit. I can't stay long, I've got a ton of work to do. Don't expect me to dance on any tables, though. Well, I'm glad you're down, because I think they actually wanted to have it at your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I hate that. Hold up, hold up. They want to party at my house? Are they out of their damn minds? My house is not a party venue. I really had it. I actually had it. F I'm the fire. I'm the hot fire department. I'm the hot firefighter. Well, if you think being half naked with a helmet is hot, then good for you. But this is a workplace, not a strip club. So unless you have a good reason for being here, I suggest you put on some clothes on and leave. Wait, Jessica? Jessica's from, from work? Is that you? Wait, we work together. Oh my god, our desks are next to each other! <laughs> oh great, just what I need. Another reminder that our desks are too damn close for comfort. Look, I don't need my personal life invading my professional life, so if you're here to cause more chaos, just kindly see yourself out. Sorry, I just- the other day you leaned over and said I could come over for the work party you were throwing? Am I remembering that wrong? <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I even said that. Look, they're doing crazy at work. <laughs> and I'm too exhausted. <laughs> There's no way this works. I have a stack of paperwork that needs my attention. Oh, yeah, that stack. I remember you talking about that in the office and saying you really needed my help with it. <laughs> oh, well, Are you kidding me? I never asked for your help with the paperwork. And why on earth would you think <laughs> it's appropriate to show up half naked in a firefighter helmet? Look, I have had enough of this nonsense. Leave now or I'm calling security. Jessica, we work together. You know me. <laughs> oh, I know you all right. It's overly it. Go put some clothes on. Find something productive to do with your time. Yeah, of course. I remember you telling me about how you loved clothes when we were working together at our desks. <laughs> wow, you really have a selective memory, don't you? Sure, I like clothes, but that doesn't mean I want to see you half naked in the office. It's called professionalism. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Goodbye. Oh, no, I'm... I'm guys... I saw that thumbs up. Sorry about that. By the way, Jessica overworked. You look overworked. Is everything okay? Anything I can help with? <laughs> Finally, some common sense. Yes, I am over- I know. And completely swamped with tasks. Oh my god. If you want to help, you can start putting some pants on helping me organize these files. But be quick. I have a feeling the boss will be checking in any minute. Okay, don't throw, 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 don't throw. Okay, sounds good. But I seem to have left all of my pants at home when I walked out naked in a firefighter helmet. Sorry. I'd still love to help, though. You know what? I guess desperate times call for desperate... <laughs> no fucking way! Jessica, it's coming off. Gah! Look familiar? Co-work this! Gah! All right. I'm gonna try something crazy. Hi, Millie. It's Jessica. I know you have a crush on me. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the Great White North. Looks like you've taken a wrong turn, but don't you worry, I'll help you find your way. Grab a seat, have some poutine, and let's figure out where you're supposed to be, eh? Oh my god, she's Canadian. Maple syrup. Moose. Quebec. Maple leaf. Plaid. <laughs> <laughs> you sure know how to sum up Canada, eh? Maple syrup is our national treasure, and you can't go wrong with plaid and maple leaf. But tell me, what brings you out here to the wilderness without a shirt and pants, but Moose got him. Oh no, sorry to hear that, buddy. Moose can be pretty unpredictable out here. Stay put for now. I'll call you for backup. Search for your missing clothes. Can I get you something warm to drink in the meantime? Yes, please. Hot cocoa. Thank you so much. Maple syrup. Like, I can't fuck this up. I can't fuck this up. She is, like, so welcoming. That is the- that- there's- there's no- if I fucked that up, I would- I, I don't know who I was. <laughs> sorry, Canadian. But for once, it's time for things to go south. Just like you Canadians drink straight from the fucking tree, I drink straight from you. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like a lost uh, hiker on my doorstep. Need help finding your way to civilization, fellow? Yes. Please help me. I really need help finding the nearest house. <laughs> what? No worries, my friend. You've come to the right place. I know these woods like the back of my hand. Follow me and I'll lead you to the nearest house. Just keep an eye out for any hidden traps along the way. Oh my god! A trap! <laughs> Saves your life? Whew. That was a close call. Good thing I was here. <laughs> You're quick on your feet, my friend. <laughs> Save your bacon there. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, a bear! Don't worry! Stay back! Oh, it's got my leg! I fended it off. That was close. Holy moly, that was too close. Never seen a bite off a bear like that before. I think I see ah, a pack of wild wolves. Oh! oh my god, I ripped its head off. I saved you. By 
the dragon's beard. You're a force to be reckoned with. I've never seen anything like it. You've saved me twice now, my friend. Come on in. Let's celebrate your victories. Ow! My kung fu is no match for this! Woodrow, I didn't even get a chance to learn your gimmick. So now that I know I can just like say things that are happening to them, this is a massive game changer. Oh shit, get down! Oh my god! Someone just tried to fucking assassinate you! But I saved your life! I just saved your life! Wait, what? Assassination attempts? Are you seriously trying to mess with- Oh, that didn't work. Time to put on the rat tail. I'll show you what real misery looks like. There's nothing suspicious about- Oh, I don't wanna- Please, please, he wouldn't equip a rat tail, would he? Fuck, oh my god. Fallout Roy is- <laughs> Actually, really good. My songs know what you did in the dark! Yeah, well, my song knows what it's like to live in eternal darkness, so I guess we're both emo in our own ways. You don't even know what real darkness is like. Until I let the beast out. You don't know, do you? Unless you know. Okay, I think I saved it there at the end. Look, I may be familiar with darkness, but I don't need any more negativity in my life. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh, maybe she just wants someone to cheer her up. Oh, what do you want? Life is meaningless and I have no desire to engage in any form of social interaction. Hi. Vsauce, Michael here. What if life wasn't meaningless? Life not meaningless? Yeah, right. Life is just a never-ending cycle of pain and disappointment. There's no escaping it. How can you see into my eyes like open doors? Uh, a reference to that song? How original? What? You know, I once felt the same way you did, but then something happened to me that changed everything. Do you want to know? Fine, I'll indulge you. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. <laughs> oh, how touching, a nostalgic tale about a marching band. But that's not all. Because he said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten and the damned? Savior of the broken, the beaten and the damned? Please, say to me that her- Okay, he said, will you defeat them? your demons, and all of the non-believers, the plans that they have made. That's a tall order. I can barely defeat my own self-doubt, but hey, if you think you can conquer those demons, more power to you. Just don't expect me to join your crusade. It's a parade! He said, one day, I'll leave you a phantom to lead you in the summer to join the Black Parade. Think on that. Joining a phantom-led parade in the summer, that does sound intriguing. All right, you've piqued my career. <laughs> No fucking way. No fucking way. We'll carry on. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Should have stayed in my room. Uh, uh. With that, I think we finally have enough houses unlocked so that we can attempt to convince him. It's time. This is the one. This is the one. Elam Zuck. Oh, my coder, you have got to tell me where you found that jetpack. So, like, what brings you buzzing in my crib in the middle of the night, Mr. Labtastic? Elon, it's me, your head scientist. We've made a breakthrough. Come on, this is it. This has got to be it. Oh, my gigabytes. That's totally tubular, head scientist. Break it down for me. What's the deets on this groundbreaking discovery? Oh, shit, I need to think of... I need, I need an invention. The chip works. It worked on them all, Elon. That's radical, dude. The chip actually worked? This is, like, totally next-level stuff, but, like, who are them that you're talking about? Spill the beans, my tech wizard. Elam, you remember all of those nice volunteers that were helping us with the chip, right? Uh, like, yeah, I remember, but, uh, you weren't supposed to use them as, like, test subjects, dude. That's not cool at all. What? Felicia! Something's wrong. This is not the Elam I know. You know what? Maybe this is the play. Ready to take the plunge? Um, no. Mm -hmm. Taking the plunge, you say? I'm not quite sure what that means in this context, but I'm all ears, my plunger-wearing friend. Do enlighten me. That's the thing, Elam. You're always looking at the big picture, but sometimes you need to look at the smaller things, too. The clogs. Interested? Oh, my tech-tastic senses are tingling. You're absolutely right, my friend. The smallest details can make the biggest difference. Elon, have you ever had a situation where your toilet won't flush? There's nothing you can do, but I can solve that. <laughs> oh, the horror of a non-flushing toilet. Please do tell me more about your magical solution to your plunger enthusiast. What if I told you, Elon, that there was a device that you could manually insert into the toilet to remove the clog? What if I told you that? Oh, my assembly line. That sounds like a total game changer, my plunger slang friend. A device that can magically remove clogs? I can't wait to hear more about this revolutionary invention. How does it work? I could tell you more. 
but I need to know you're serious. So I ask again, are you ready to take the plunge? <laughs> Absolutely, my fellow innovator. I'm ready to dive headfirst into this plunging adventure. Show me what you've got and let's conquer those clogs together. What if I told you I've come up with a device that you can manually insert into the toilet, plunge into the toilet? Oh my coding gods, you've truly outdone yourself. A device that plunges into the toilet? Please come inside. There's no way. There's no way that I just sold him on a fucking toilet pl Oh my god. How the mighty have fallen. You look clogged, Elam. It's time to plunge. My stock's gonna plummet. <clears throat> Wrong. It's gonna plunge. Yeah!